What's going on everybody? How we doing? We have an open boxing for the Shadow Systems. This is going to be the DR920L. Welcome back to another episode of Vault Crack. My name is Andrew. I'm the Chief Instructor for Shots Fired Training, a firearms training company located in beautiful Las Vegas, Nevada. Uh, if you like the video, hit the like, hit the subscribe button, but I'm just going to get real down and short, sweet to the point and simple open boxing, trying to get it as right around that five minute mark, but we'll see what happens. So welcome back. I'm going to go ahead and get right into it. So I have the Shadow Systems DR920L Elite Optics Ready. Uh, the SKU number is going to be ML-2028. It is a nine millimeter and I'm going to go ahead and get right into it. So comes in a cardboard box. Not bad. No harm, no foul there. Um, don't have a preference towards plastic cases or not. And we've got our handy dandy bag right here. Here's our manual. Okay, box is going to disappear. End up in the shredder potentially at some point or another. Too many boxes to store. So I'm going to go ahead and get it right into it. So this is a uh, <coughs> comparable gun to the Glock 34. So our manual, instructions, do's and don'ts. Oh, there's some instructions there on how to install the uh, magwell. Uh, we have a uh, Glock 17. P mag, so P mag 17, nine millimeter, got a second P mag. Looks like I've got some screws as well as some thread locker for Loctite 243, there you go. So I got some Loctite and some screws, that's gonna be for an optic, for a, a uh, RDS. And I've got my back straps or my back plates. I think these might be the medium and the large. Set those off to the side. And we got our paperweight. Off she goes. Now, let's get into the juicy, juicy. All right, here she goes. Let's drop that mag. Lock that slide to the rear real quick. She's completely clear to all my safety. Got gurus and gung hoes out there, whatnot. So, never be too safe, but she's secure. So, let's go ahead and get rid of the bag. Now, it's difficult to, if you know, you know. If you don't, you don't. But, this is it. This is the Shadow Systems variant of the DR. Their model is the DR920L. And it just so happens that I have a Glock 34 Gen 5 um, hanging out in the vicinity. So for compare and contrast, the Shadow Systems DR920L is their version, if you would, in comparison to the Glock 34. So just stacking them right on top of each other. They're almost identical. Obviously, two completely different gun manufacturers. But as far as aesthetics go, we've got a lot of different aesthetics. But as far as simple length goes, we're completely flat here. And the barrel lengths almost look at almost uh, identical in this configuration. But anyway, that's how you're measuring, if you want to call it. Uh, what is the DR920L comparable to? So anyway, this is the Elite model, Elite model, DR920L Elite. I've been waiting for this for at least three or four months. My current um, toy, if you want to call it that, or duty weapon. So whether it's uh, security or just what I'm regularly shooting on a regular basis is, believe it or not, a Glock 35. Yes, I had it Cerakoted a Midnight Bronze. I had it Fufinated all kinds of stuff. So this is another comparison, but in a 40 caliber. So I've been shooting uh, 40 cal for as long as I can humanly possibly remember. And when you get to a certain point in your shooting career, if you want to call it that, I know for a fact I have fired hundreds of thousands of rounds through a 40, um, but I have not uh, ever gone down to the nine. For whatever reasons, I've just been comfortable with the 40. It works. Can I shoot the nine millimeter okay or fine? Yes, but it just works for me. When I've been, I had a Glock 22 for years. I, my EDC was a Glock 23. I just felt warm and fuzzy about the 40 caliber. But with my own personal growth as an instructor, I've sought myself seeking more. I wanted more uh, in the trigger. I wanted more in the firearm. I wanted more. Uh, as you can see, I've taken a stock Glock. I have have changed a trigger. I think it's a, oh, I can't remember. Oh, my apologies, guys. 
Can't remember the, uh, the trigger exactly, uh, but it is all stock, uh, uh, stock parts um, that were purchased from a company that just polishes some things here and there. I have a serrated trigger shoe on here. Uh, there's very little, very, very, very little um, slack in this trigger. That is the model that I purchased it from. If I can remember who the hell I got it from, you know, I'll definitely be able to throw that out there for you guys. You know, if I just tiptoe over here and take a look, see in my safe or whatever, I might be able to find the container that I had the trigger in. But nope, for the purposes of this video, I can't remember what kind of trigger I got on it. But anyway, so good comparison for these two formats. Although this being a 40 caliber, I am transitioning to the nine mil or at least attempting to. What made me want to buy this? As you can see, I bought this stock six, 700 bucks, uh, notwithstanding or not withholding having sent it out to have it coated, but I immediately changed the sights. I had to throw on an optic. Uh, let's see what else here. I did change the trigger. I did add a $20 Magpul, you know, Magwell, but when it was all said and done, I'm easily 1300, 1400 bucks into this particular handgun. Now, I love flat triggers. I absolutely love them to death. There's no offense or buts about it. I love flat triggers. Shadow Systems has come out with their particular firearm and everything that I'm communicating with you guys now is speculative. I have not yet shot this gun. I have shot her bigger brother, which is, I believe the DR920P. Yeah, uh, yes, the 920P. Enter DR920P. Just so happened to freaking uh, be available there. So when we're able to compare things, it provides us some more clarity. I have fired her, haven't had any problems yet, but I'm only in that 100, 200 round area and I did buy this used. Now let's just kind of set her off to the side over here, get her out of the way. Uh, again, for comparison purposes only. So I've got my, let's just start from the back end, if you would. Here's the back strap that's on the back end. There's a tool that's used to, to remove this. Now, I did call Shadow Systems and said, hey, I thought your Elite models came with a Magwell. They said, yes, it does. I said, well, mine didn't. Well, they sent me a Magwell or I'm waiting for it to come in the mail. And then I purchased another one just for giggles off of their website, showed up within about a week. But what were among the features that I was looking for in a pistol that would meet my personal niche, if you would, or my arena. I was looking for a flat trigger to begin with. I love the higher back strap or tang area, if you want to call it, or beaver tail. I do appreciate them having a magwell as well. I also appreciate the undercut right here as I'm grabbing the gun. I've got a second undercut here. When I first grabbed this gun, I said, wow, I was really, really impressed. The stippling is aggressive enough to hold on to, but not so much that it's, uh, that it's bothersome. Now, what I'm currently using, I've got my finger grooves on my Glock 35, which I do like my finger grooves. Don't get, don't get it twisted. I love my finger grooves. I know what I can do with this gun and I'm very, very efficient, very accurate with it. I know what it's capable of. So as of now, this is my duty gun. If I ever find myself in those circumstances that I'm out on duty, whatever it may be, you know, security, whatever it may be, but I'm wanting something a little bit more. So I'm hoping the shadow systems can bring that to the table, which thus far, uh, just based on the limited shooting that I have uh, fired their P model, I was very, very impressed. Uh, no, no unfortunate or otherwise untoward experiences just thus far. Uh, these do, uh, I did fire the Glock 17 mags out of the DR920P, no problem. So that was a benefit there. Uh, I do love how, just how very, very malleable this firearm is. And I'm really looking forward to uh, firing it. I'm going to be throwing a Leopold Delta Point Pro on this particular, on the DR920L. Uh, it was destined the Leopold Delta Point Pro was going to be going on my G35, but then I discovered the shadow systems and said, hey, why not give it a try? So I've got a lot of Oaken boxings that I'm gonna be doing in the shadow systems arena, but wanted to give you guys just a quick crash course on, hey, this is what you get when you open the box 
for the shadow systems. I am gonna be throwing the Magwell on here. I am gonna be putting the uh, Delta Point Pro on here and seeing if that nine millimeter cartridge with this longer of a barrel and the features that are available and or otherwise offered by shadow systems are gonna provide me that edge that I'm looking for to get me a little bit more of the accuracy world that I'm living in. So for me, I'm very, very tactile with regards to when I take my shots, I'm very well aware, intimately familiar with and aware of trigger slack, even the creep, the break, my reset, too much trigger finger, too little trigger finger, anticipating the shot, whatever it may be, I'm very in tune with my abilities. And where I came to was kind of a stop sign and a fork in the road, if you want to call it that. I could go to the left or I could go to the, or I could go straight. So either, either I could continue going the direction that I was with my G35, swap the optic out and see if I could reach that accuracy that I was looking for, or I could completely go in a different direction, try a lower caliber being the nine millimeter, seeing if that lower low, that lighter weight round, as well as the same length in barrel, uh, would actually accommodate what it is that I'm looking for. I'm looking for an increased degree of accuracy. I'm looking for that at and I wanna be able to reach out and touch somebody while at the same time being able to have those point blank engagements, those immediate action drills and things of that nature. And uh, to add to the boot, surprise, surprise, she fits in a G34 holster right from the get-go. So that was a huge consideration for me where my G35 fits in perfectly fine. The uh, DR, even with a compensator, fits perfectly fine. No harm, no foul. This is a Safari Land Level 3 for a 34. And everything across the board fit absolutely fine. No harm, no foul there. So I'm very, very pleased that I don't have to go and buy another $200 hose. A little shaky because there's no tack light on it, which is fine. But for comparison purposes, she locks in there a little bit more on the Glock. But then again, this was sold for the Glock. And you got a little bit of shake and bake there, but I know once I've thrown tack light on it, as I did for the DR920P, uh, it didn't have any issues. So I'll be popping this off or throwing on a TRL, a TRL1 just for giggles onto this, throwing on my Leopold Delta Point Pro, taking her to the range, giving her a zero and seeing how she does. So that's about it guys. I apologize for confusing you if I introduced so many guns in one sitting, if you want to call it that. But it's great to have a comparison and being able to understand, hey, this compared to here, why would I go in this direction? The features that are available in the shadow systems caught my attention. I really, really like the aesthetics of the gun. I don't have an opinion on operating it as much as I do Glock. I've been a Glock guy for as long as I can humanly possibly remember. Uh, I'm also the responsible party for uh, another organization that decides what firearms are authorized for being carried on, on or off duty. So at this juncture, it's either Glock, MMP, or SIG, not the 320s, but nevertheless, uh, I'm doing some TNE R&D on the shadow systems to see, hey, is this the newest and greatest? Is this the next best thing? Is this going to be, you know, coming out in style if you want to call it? Now, these are more expensive than a Glock, but for the features that I see when as I'm just grabbing this gun right from the get-go, I really, really do appreciate the features from the stippling on the right side where my trigger finger goes, where my thumb placement lands. You got some ledge right here that's just really, really awesome. I am more of a high up there uh, active grip as opposed to a passive and the tank space is really, really cool. So don't wanna bore you guys any more than I potentially may have already had, but that's it. That's open boxing for the DR920L. If you guys like the video, please do me the biggest of favors in the world. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Every like, every subscription greatly helps me in the stages that I am with my growth and the videos I'll be uh, sending out, coming out to you guys here shortly. So uh, stay tuned. I have the MR, the CR, the XR, the Combat, the Elite, you name it, it's coming. I've got a pile of boxes behind me, but as time permits and operational necessities, I'll be able to pump those out for you guys. Till next time, guys, stay safe, carry safe, and we'll see you next time on another episode of Vault Crack. Be safe, you guys.